WooCommerce received a major release in June 2024. So here's everything that's been changed or updated in just under three minutes. I'll start the timer now and let's get started. Now, first up, some of the checkout blocks have received UI improvements for better conversion. This includes a refreshed order summary with sticky functionality on desktop, local pickup and shipping options are now displayed more clearly with read more covering the now truncated location information. Checkout steps will no longer have numbers enabled by default, though they can always be re-enabled in the editor using this setting here. The checkout summary received accessibility improvements too. For example, free shipping now has a free label rather than showing as $0. Number two, the next iteration of product collection blocks. If you weren't yet aware, the product collection block has replaced several of the product grid blocks. Pause the video here to read the whole list. And it's now publicly available as part of this and future releases. This new version includes better distinctions between the general product catalog and specialized collections, like on sale or new arrivals. And only the product catalog can be filtered by customers. This means that specific collections maintain their consistent product displays, regardless of any filters that have been applied. They've also added a preview label and tooltip in the product editor, clarifying what specific products will display on the front end based on the viewing context. Number three, an experimental version of full text search indexes has been enabled for order addresses and products, leveraging MySQL's advanced indexing techniques to speed up search operations. This is part of the High Performance Order Storage or HPOS initiative. To enable this experimental feature, navigate to WooCommerce, go to Settings, Advanced, and Features, and then activate the HPOS full text search indexes option. Note this feature requires HPOS to be enabled in the first place, and it should only be tested in a staging environment as it's still experimental. Number four, we have a new REST API endpoint for refunds. This update introduces a brand new endpoint, which you can see here, designed to streamline the process of retrieving refund data. This endpoint allows users to obtain a list of refunds directly, sorted by date, and optionally filtered by a date range. And five is a quick fire round of some smaller features. They've added a more secure, legible system status report, and they've now renamed classic block templates to minimize confusion. For example, WooCommerce single product block is now just called product classic in parentheses, and you can see the rest on screen now. You can read about all the changes, including API updates in the WooCommerce developer blog linked below. So how did I do? Was that under three minutes? I'm gonna find out when I actually edit this video. So hopefully I wasn't too far off. I always love it when WooCommerce releases new updates, but how is WordPress doing as a whole? Are they still the preferred option for web designers? You can check out my analysis in this video here, and you can check out Barn2 plugins with this link. And of course, Thanks for watching.